Hello, welcome to Texas Girl 1980. And um, I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit about my um, eye condition. Well, like I say, I um, was born with um, glaucoma and um, out of my right eye, I am almost blind. I see light and color and movement, movements if it's real close up. And out of my um, left eye, like I say, I see um, 2200, which is hard to explain, you know what I mean? Um, people, like I say, they'll ask me, um, how much can you see, you know? Well, it's just really hard to explain. It really is, you know. And I try to explain to them as the best I can, but it's just really hard to explain to people how much you can see, you know. You know, so it really is, you know. Um, I mean, it really is hard to explain to people, people how much you can see, you know. I mean, you know. And when I was a baby, like I said, I've had tons of eye surgeries. I mean, I've had a bunch of eye surgeries. And, um... I had cataracts take my cataracts removed, you know. And like I say, even when, even when I was, you know, started getting older, even when I was a kid, and even throughout my teenage years, I had a lot of surgeries too, you know, a lot of eye surgeries, you know. <clears throat> you know, um, now I've never had like any other kind of um, other surgeries really, just except for the eyes. Now there is one surgery I did have about I don't know about probably like maybe four years ago or five years ago, I had my gallbladder taken out, but that's pretty much the only one, you know? Every surgery, every surgery pretty much that I have has always been for the eyes, you know? But, anyways, and then when I started getting a little bit, um, when I started getting older, like when I was a dog, you know, I was, I don't know, I was probably about 20 or something like that, you know? I started getting cornea problems, you know? I started getting a bad cornea. I think it, I kind of wondered, I don't really know, we don't really know this or not, though, but I kind of wondered if it had something to do with me bungee jumping, you know, because when I went to Lions Road School for the Blind, it was Adult, adult, adult Rehab Taysen Center for the Blind, and when I was up there, I bungee, bungee jumped, I kind of wondered if it had something to do with, to do with that, because that kind of had some jerking, into, you know, but we don't really know if it did or not, you know, we don't know, you know. Um, so, from then on, I, you know, like I said, I had to go back home from school and I had to have some more surgeries done so I never could um you know feeding up you know but like I say it was a dog rehabilitation center center school you know like I said they just kind of try to get you prepared for the work world and stuff you know um yeah I had to go home like I said because my eyes were messing up so I had a couple surgeries you know I you know and um you know after I had those surgeries, like I say, everything turned out pretty good, you know what I mean? You know, I think it worked out pretty good, you know? But yeah, it's been, it's been a pretty rough road throughout the, throughout the, um, my years having eye problems, you know? Um, now one thing, thing about me being born with it, you know, when you're born with something like that, you pretty much learn to accept this the way you are, you know what I mean? I mean, there have been times that I still get depressed about it, you know? You know, there's been times I do, you know what I mean? But I still, I still know that to accept it, because that's just the way I am, you know what I mean? You know, um... I think it's easier when you're born with something like that because, you know, you know that's the way you are, you know what I mean? Now, I, now when I was 16, it really hit me because everybody else could, everybody else could drive with me, you know? I mean, everybody else could drive with me, but me, you know? So, so when I was 16, it really hit me, you know what I mean? It really did, you know? It really hit me, you know? When I was 16, it really hit me because everybody else could, everybody else could drive... When I, was, when I was 16, it really hit me because everybody else could drive with, but me, you know? I really had a hard time coping, coping with it. I really did, you know what I mean? Like I say, you know, because when I was 16, when I was 16, every, everybody else, because like I say, when I was 16, because like I say, when I was 16, everybody else could drive with me, you know? So it really hit me, you know what I mean? You know? Everybody else could drive, everybody, everybody else could drive except for me, you know what I mean? My two brothers, I mean, I mean, not my two brothers, but my one brother, my one brother, my two sisters, they, they all could drive except, except for me. And, and everybody else I knew around me, you know, they all could drive except for me, you know, so that was very, very hard. But I obviously did learn to accept it, I did, you know what I mean, you know? You know, because nobody wants to be the one person that's singled out, you know what I mean? You know, when everybody else gets to do something, you can't do it, you know? You don't want to be, you don't want to be singled out, you know what I mean? I mean, it was hard. It was hard when I, it was hard when they dealing, dealing with it. It was hard dealing with it when everybody else could drive with me, you know what I mean? It was hard, you know what I mean? 
you know, I mean, you know, um, but like I say, you mean, I mean, it was hard dealing, dealing with it when nobody else, I mean, when everybody else could drive except for me, it was hard dealing with it, you know, like I say, you know, I mean, I mean, like I say, when I was, when I was 16, when I was 16, it was, when I was 16, it was really hard because, <clears throat> When I was sixteen, it was when I was sixteen, it was really hard because everybody else could drive, except for me. You know, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I mean, when I was when I was sixteen, it was really hard because there, because everybody else could drive could drive except for me. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, it was. You know, I mean, it was hard. You know, I mean, but you know, I just had to move on and accept it. You know, I mean, you know, but yeah, I was. Though, I mean, I mean, when I was when I was sixteen, when I was sixteen, it was really hard because everybody else could drive except for me. It was. You know, I mean. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it was just a hard road it was, you know what I mean? You know? But, like I said, I mean, eventually I did learn to accept it. Eventually I did learn to accept it, you know what I mean? You know? I mean, eventually I did, like, eventually I did, I did learn, learn to accept it, you know what I mean? You know? I did, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, but it was, though. Like I said, when I turned, when I turned 16, when I turned 16, everybody else could drive except for me, you know what I mean? You know? So it was hard, you know what I mean? You know? You know what I mean? I mean, it was hard, you know what I mean? You know? You know, um... But eventually I did accept it and move on eventually, you know what I mean? You know? So, um... But, I guess when you go through something like that, you know, when you, when you have a disability problem, um, I don't know if it's a good thing, or I don't, I don't really know if it's a good thing, but I get, but people say it does make you stronger, because it does, you know what I mean? You know, because you have to be more independent because there's certain things you can't do, you know what I mean? So you have to be more independent, you know what I mean, you know? So I I don't know if it's, that's a good thing or not, you know? People say it makes you stronger, it makes you a stronger person, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not, you know what I mean, you know? Um, but yeah. Um, but like I said, eventually I started working, you know, eventually... I started getting an apartment, you know what I mean, you know, so, um, this I did, you know what I mean, you know, you know, um, and right now I am looking for a job, you know, and I'm looking, you know, I'm looking for a job right now, and, and I am, I still am, rent an apartment, I, I rent an apartment, I cook my own meals, I clean my own apartment, like I said, I do it independently, you know, and I can go to the store independently by myself, which I take the buses or the vans or mom still take me, you know, so, you know, um, yeah, I do pretty good. Like I said, I do pretty good with my eyes. I mean, I've I've had to learn to accept it, but I do pretty good. Like I said, I still, I still get depressed sometimes. I still do, you know what I mean? But, but I've just um. You know, I just know to accept it. You know, because that's the way I always was. I mean, I knew. I just knew there wasn't. I just knew there wasn't no cure for it. I knew. I knew there wasn't nothing. Nothing that we could do about it because that's what I was born. You know. So I knew there was. I knew there wasn't nothing that we could do about it because that's what I was born. You know. I just knew to accept it. You know what I mean? You know. But believe it or not, I still get depressed about it. I still do, believe it or not. Even though I was born with something like this, I still do get depressed about it. I still do at times, I do. <laughs> you know? Um, so, um, and you know, like I said, I want to be treated like, just like everybody else. Like I said, I didn't want to be, I didn't want people feeling sorry for me because I couldn't drive. I didn't want people feeling sorry for me because I couldn't see certain things, you know? I didn't want people feeling sorry for me because, you know, I couldn't do certain things. I didn't want that, you know I mean? <laughs> I didn't want people feeling sorry for me. I didn't want that, you know what I mean? I don't want people people being my friends just so they can feel sorry for me. I don't want that, you know what I mean? I didn't want that, you know? I mean, I didn't want them feeling sorry for, sorry for me just because I couldn't drive, you know what I mean? I mean, I didn't want that, you know what I mean? You know? I mean, I want to be treated just like everybody else, you know what I mean? You know? Because, you know, we all have problems, you know what I mean? I mean, sorry people, like I say, they may not, you know, they don't have eye problems, but, aren't, but they, they, they have other problem, problems, you know what I mean? I've heard this the saying, well, it's just a saying, you know, um, we all have a disability problem in some way, you know, I've heard people say that before, you know, um, you know, everybody's got a disability problem in some way, you know, I've heard that saying before, you know, but, you know, I mean, so I didn't want anybody feeling sorry for me, because I know they had problems too, you know what I mean, so, you know what I mean, um, I want to get out there and be independent, you know, I want to be treated just like everybody else, you know what I mean, I didn't expect no favoritism, you know, I didn't expect all that stuff, you know what I mean? I I didn't want that, you know what I mean? I didn't want anybody crying for me because I couldn't I didn't want anybody crying for me because I couldn't drive, because I couldn't see something, because I couldn't um because I couldn't do certain things, you know. I didn't I didn't need that, you know what I mean, you know. 
Now it's nice that people care. It's nice. It's nice that people feel bad. You know, for me, it's nice they feel bad. You know, but you know, I want to be treated just like everybody else. You know, what I mean, you know, I do. You know, so. Um. <clears throat> and I've had a hard, rough road. You know, with my eyes, but God's helped me through. You know, He's, He's um pulled me through. You know, what I mean, you know, so I am a stronger person because of God. You know, what I mean, I don't know if I'd say I'm a stronger person because of my eyes. I'd say I'm a stronger person because of God. You know, what I mean, you know, I am. You know. So, I just want to explain to y'all a, a little bit about my eyes, you know, because some people just don't don't know, because some of y'all have never really been around people with eye problems that much. So I just want to explain to y'all a little bit about about you know, what I mean, about a little bit about my eye, I, I, a little bit about my eye condition, you know, what I mean. So, anyways, thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to me if you like it. Take care.